Today's meet is a really simple back channel to use if you're just trying one for the first time. Just type in today's meet. It's usually the first result. Open it up and this is what you'll see. It gives everyone a voice. It empowers students. I completely agree. Give your today's meet room a name. So we'll call this practice room Kempolishuk. And you'll see the green check mark right here shows you that that's acceptable. You can choose how long you want to keep the room open for. Um, depends on your needs. For this sake, we'll do one hour and then open the room. And that's honestly, that's it. At this point, I would type in my name and I teach my students to just use first names. Um, in my case, as the teacher, I just use my last name. I would click join and at this point you get the option to type a message and you'll see here it says 140 characters so it mimics Twitter. And you can see as the first message is posted it lists it right here. It says who posted it. If you go down here into room tools here is a QR code that you could project so that students can go in through a QR code reader. You could copy this link and paste it on your blog or on Edmodo or whatever other uh, tool you use to communicate with your students. The other nice thing is you can get a transcript of the room so you can refer back to it at the end if you'd like to assess the actual ideas that were shared in the back channel. You can print it as well. There's other preferences that you can um, include too. Projector view. This would be a view that you would use if you were just projecting it onto your screen. Just go back and back into room tools and you can show speaker colors so that if there was more than one speaker they would likely have different colors. One thing you'll want to consider as you're creating your Today's Meet back channel is the name that you give the room. It is a closed environment, meaning the only people who will be involved in the discussion will be the people who have the link. You just want to make sure that the link that you generate is very specific to the students that you're working with. In this case, we've called it Practice Room Kim Polishuk. That's pretty basic. Odds are people around the world aren't going to guess randomly that they can jump into a Today's Meet with this URL, but just consider making it a specific URL so that the link is private. And that's it. Today's Meet is a perfect back channel to get started with uh, if you've never tried one.